Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the inheritance and visibility of class members. What is inheritance? An inheritance is creating a new class from the existing class. That is getting the features of old class into a new class. So for example if here a B is a new class then A is a old class where we are inheriting the features of A to B. So the new class is called as derived class and the old class is called as base class. For example, if a base class has a features A and B and a derived class has only C, then whenever it is has been derived from this base class, it also inherits A and B. So you can see here A and B were inherited. So when you are going to inherit features, you can inherit some of the features of the base class or all of the features of the base class so this can be explained using the how you are inheriting a base class either publicly or privately or protectedly we will discuss about that in short so we will now discuss how to derive a derived class so to declare or to derive a de derived class we write the syntax as class derived class scope resolution operator visibility mode and base class this visibility mode is optional that is you can also ignore visibility mode if you ignore the visibility mode then the default mode is private this is the place where you will tell a derived class that your base class may be inherited publicly or privately or protectedly this colon will explain to you that this derived class is inherited from the base class. So this is the way how we write a syntax of a derived class. So based upon this visibility mode we can we have three possibilities that is one one thing is like you can derive a class by public mode you can derive a base class in a private mode or you can derive a base class in protected mode so we'll discuss them in brief now so for example this is a program where a class b has private data members as a public data members as get a and show and protected data members as x now you want to derive you want to inherit this base class to a derived class d generally a b is a base class and a d is a derived class so for example in this derived class you have a private member as b public members as read and display protected members and as y then in general the derived class will inherit the features of b in this fashion so you remember that this derived class is deriving your base class in public mode whenever it is public mode the public member functions of a base class will be public and protected members of a base class will be protected and private members are not inherited so we check in class d how a class d looks like so derived class so in a derived class what we have int b as private mode so in a derived class pri in private mode we have int b in public mode what we have we have void read and void display void read and void display but as a derived class is d is a derived class which is inheriting base class in a public mode the public data members of class b will be the public to class d that's why we got void get data void show in derived class see these actually get data and show are the member functions of class b as it has been inherited those are also used in class d in the same way your class b has protected variable int x data member that is also inherited as protected in your derived class see 
here you have int y and here also int y and this is int x which is protected so in this way a class d will inherit some of the features of class b because it is in a public mode note that even if it is in a public mode the private data members that is int a is not inherited in class d so you can't execute or you can't access private data members of a base class into a derived class so that's why we write like this in a base class if we are deriving a base class members if we are deriving a base class in public mode then the public members of a base class will be public in derived protected will be protected in derived and private are not inherited so in the same way if we conclude or if we see that in class d if this b is inherited in private mode for example if in the place of public mode if we write it as private if we write it as private then how your class d looks so this is how a class d b uh, sorry class d looks so now we are saying what your class b is privately inherited so whenever it is privately inherited then so for example in class d what we have int b so the same int b now here we are instead of saying it as public now we are saying it as private b we are saying it as what private b when we are saying when we are inheriting a base class in privately then what happens to this member functions or data members of class b so in class d the private is what int b so that will be int b so as you have derived b a derived d derived class in private uh, derived class which is inherited from the base class as private then all the public data members see here what we have public data members get data and show those becomes private to the class d and as well as protected whatever the protected members you have in class b will also become the private members to the class d okay so now what we are saying is if a base class is privately inherited then the public members and protected members will be private in derived class see this box this red color lines you see these are all are actually the public member functions of class b but as it is inherited privately then they became private data members of class d and then as usual the public members of class d will be public and protected members of class d will be protected but the base class member functions which are public and protected will be private to the class d so this is the visibility of class members so then what happened to the private data member in ta that is not inherited so now what we concluded is if we are deriving a base class in a private mode then the public data members of a base class will be private protected data protected data members of a base class will be private and private are not inherited so these are all are in your derived class thank you